Hey, what's going on guys? It's Bosco, the Bosco on YouTube channel. Today I'm here with Crypto Chick, and she's trying to catch up to me in rigs, and it's not gonna happen. So today we're building a six card 1070 Ti mining rig. Unfortunately, one card's still in the mail, so it's technically gonna be five cards today. All right guys, so today we're gonna be using the bare bones frame from Parallel Miner. It's a really nice, readily available, plug and play pretty much frame. You can get it with a PSU and risers attached for just the bare minimum bones version, which is what we have today, which comes with just this frame skeleton, which is pretty cool because we take this top part and all you do is just push it down, it snaps right in here, creates a permanent frame fixture. Okay, right, so we're gonna have a full parts list below about every single thing we use in this, uh, in this build. So, for example, the thermal paste we're using is the Arctic Silver. We're using just uh, these generic risers from Amazon, which we've gotten great results with. In addition, we have a uh, EVGA 1000 watt GQ um, for this build. I'm not a big fan of gold power supplies, and we've been getting some requests to do a build with a gold power supply. So here we are, and 1000 watts is gonna be ample for what we're doing today on this build because this is gonna be a very high efficiency 1070 Ti build, which is, you know, what the 1070 Ti's are good for. So if you don't know how to put a CPU in the board, you can check out the how to build a Zencash mining rig video. I go over every single aspect of a build in that, but basically you're just gonna pop it in and then close the motherboard piece and then put the CPU fan on top and plug it into the uh, fan slot right here. And it's that simple. Same with the RAM. You're gonna put it on this outside slot and just push it in and the serial number on the is on the back of the RAM Basically, it goes towards the board and it's slotted so it can only go in correctly one way. And if you force it in the wrong way, you'll probably break it. So don't do that. Other than that, you know, you just have to screw in the motherboard. I know you can do it. We can do it. You can do it. And then the uh, power switch is just going to go into the two red slots on this motherboard with the metal facing the majority of the board. So metal back faces the majority of the board. It's the easiest way to think about it. And now we're going to go ahead and just snap this frame in. Put the risers on and get rocking. All right guys, so we went ahead and we mounted the risers. Next up, we've got to run the power to the risers, which are gonna be supplying that power with PCIe cables. And then also just run the USB cables from the risers onto the actual board. To accomplish this task, we're gonna be using the EVGA, which we're gonna mount right here on the side of the fan coming away from the rig. And we use just uh, two little furniture mount adhesive pieces down here to prop it up to just kind of make it a little bit more stable and uh, good for the longevity of the rig if it's getting moving around. All right guys, so we finally got all wired up. So we went ahead and re-ran the uh, PCIe risers, the power connections. So we are using a PCIe to SATA adapter. And with that, on the SATA connections, we're running two risers per SATA connection. And I know people are like, oh, don't run it on SATA, whatever, whatever. Well, this is a really low power build and Tails wants to be in the movie, so here she is. So with that said, it's gonna be no big deal to run SATA connection, in my opinion. And then, you know, obviously we've got them wired up, just uh, two eight pins going to each of these 1070 Ti's. These are the EVGA FTW2's, it's for the wind, baby. And, uh, you know, these are big power consumption if you let them be, but we're gonna be running them about 110 watts each. All right, guys, so other than that, I mean, you know, knock on wood or whatever, but this was a pretty, uh, pretty straightforward, easy build. This frame makes this very easy. You know, it's just the two pieces literally snap into it. Oh, Tails, no! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> So yeah, it's a very straightforward and easy build, especially if this is one of the first rigs you're gonna build. It's, I mean, with the frame just snapping into each other and the risers have obvious places to bolt, the holes are pre-drilled out for you to just bolt your card onto. You know, it's about as easy as it gets. Using the ATX power supply does make it a little more simple and a little straightforward. However, using a server PSU is, you know, always my recommendation here, just because it's a little more robust, kind of made for 100% uptime. In an ideal situation, I would swap this 1000 watt GQ for a 1200 watt platinum server PSU from Parallel Miner and use their Pico ATX adapter, which basically is a motherboard and CPU adapter that plugs into a PCI power slot that plugs into the motherboard and makes you able to run your rig entirely off of a server PSU. All right guys, as you can see, we are up and mining away. We are using Simple Mining, which has detected the 1070 Ti's. It's not telling us what card it is, but it is detecting a NVIDIA card, which is all it really needs to do. And then we have set the power limit and the memory and the you know core and everything. So right now we're running plus 200 core 
and plus 700 memory and 120 watts for the power limit which is basically our Windows setting but when you go from Windows to Linux you need to adjust the number sum so that's just kind of our baseline right now with that said I can show you the kilowatt as you can see it's pulling about 820 watts using these settings on EWBF we're getting a stable 500 souls on each card at 120 watts which is cool to see if we're using the DSTM miner that number would be a little bit higher but that hasn't been implemented into simple miner yet but it's something I'd personally like to see and I imagine a lot of other people as well if you're wondering how to set up simple miner there's actually a good basic tutorial on the simple mining website if you just google simple mining or be there I'll also have a link in the description very easy to do you can do it and we have a full parts list in the description below if you have any questions that we didn't cover in this video please let us know and thanks for watching we'll see you next time please subscribe all right guys the sixth card is finally here we are crushing 3,000 souls and we haven't even fine-tuned the settings yet just using the base settings we said we used in the video